I think I would vote Shea for MVP. Really? I would go Shea for MVP. Even if we're talking Giannis and Jokic, in my head, I'm like, but I don't even know if I would pick either of them for MVP. Because Shea, Shea is, look, what Shea does offensively, we know this. But defensively, he's leading the league in steals by a mile. And the Thunder, 22 average age Thunder are a top five defensively this year. And a lot of it is because he takes care of the ball offensively and he creates a ton of turnovers defensively. And there's the old Allen Iverson aspect of this is like, you know, he used to get a bad rap for hunting for steals and gambling right. at the expense of his defense. Right. And so maybe, you know, you recalibrate that steals aren't exactly a go-to stat. But what I do know is they're better, def they're better defensively with uh, Shea on the floor. Their turnover rate defensively is sky high. So he does a lot of things to create those turnovers and steals. And I would also point to this. Steals is an offensive stat too. Steals get you in transition. Yes. Steals, when Shea Gildress Alexander, here's a stat for you. When Shea Gildress Alexander gets a steal, they have an offensive rating of 147 the next possession. So when he's getting that steal, it's not just, oh, he made a stop. It's that he's getting a bucket on the other end, whether it's him getting it or Chet or Jay. I think when you look at this Shea Gildress Alexander season, they're at the top of the Western Conference. The story of the team is that he's leading this team as the one lone adult on that roster. And he's got the defensive numbers to back it up, the offensive numbers to back it up. And I just feel like Jokic is in cruise control. Like if he's he's not in the fifth gear, he's more like in the third or fourth gear. And I mm. think he's okay with that. I just feel like Shea, everything to me, the numbers, the standings, the story, both sides of the ball, it's Shea Gildress Alexander's year. I think part of the MVP, for me, at least historically, since I've been a voter, and I've been a voter since 2011, and I, I actually, like, I take that thing really seriously. Part of winning the MVP is wanting to win the MVP, is, is the going for it. More than it is, you know, narrative and everything else. The reason Embiid, and I didn't make my MVP vote on Embiid until maybe the last two or three weeks of the season. I wasn't actually leaning Jokic because Jokic had powered down. I was actually leaning Giannis last year. And then mm. Giannis missed a few games, and I think he wanted to be in at 62. And we hadn't had an MVP play that few amount of games, you know, to, to win MVP in an 82-game season. So I agree with you, especially if Shea is going for it. If he's going for it and he wants it, and luckily, Tom, this year doesn't have the icky conversation around it, like any level of that ickiness, hopefully maybe we've learned our lesson. But if going for the MVP means something, if it means something to Shea, if it means something to him, you might have to What does to that think mean? What that. is wanting it or meaning wanting the MVP? What like, does that like look the like the effort. To you? It's in the effort. You talked about Jokic being in cruise control and basically he could put up 25, 10, and 10 in his sleep. But there's mm -hmm. an element to not only am I elevating my team, but you can see me elevating my game and I'm going for it. Not playing selfishly. You know what I mean? But because you mentioned earlier when we talked about fatigue playing a part in teams and how they how they perform at this point in the season. If you're fighting off fatigue to actually go for it individually because you because you want it, not like in a selfish way, but you are elevating your game in that way. Like that to that to me means something. Yeah. And he I feel like he wants it. Are you saying he doesn't want it or are you saying no, no, no. I think I think there's an element that Shea wants it. I don't know if as a voting block we are paying enough attention. I think oh. it's a matter of like like an Academy Award. Like Denzel Washington will win an Academy Award for training day, but he wouldn't win it for Malcolm X. You know what I mean? Like that sort of thing. Like you're 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 gonna get it sometimes after you should. And a couple of days ago, I had Shaquille O'Neal on for an interview, and Shaq said the finals matchup that we need is Milwaukee versus Denver for the future and present of basketball. Ooh, interesting. Right? Yeah. Um, well, I feel like OKC is going to be here for a while. Denver's going to be here for a while.